Okay, before we even get into this video, I just want to make one thing clear. I am not here to tell you what to do with your money. I am not here what to do with your space. I am not here to judge you whether you have 10 books or whether you have 10,000 books, whether you get all your books from your library or whether you buy your brand, your books brand spanking new. I'm not here to judge you. Book Chats is basically a place where I have things that I've been wondering about and I like to talk to them. I like to talk about them with the people that I know will understand me, which is other book lovers, okay? So I know this is a very sensitive topic and if you want to like get out of here right now and you know not listen to me talk about the impact of books on the world or you don't want to hear me talk about how maybe we should not be buying so many books or if you want to hear me talk about this and tell me why you think we should be buying books always in a nice and friendly manner as I am doing with you right now then please you're welcome to stay you're welcome to go this is just book chats and we're gonna get right hi guys I'm Monica and this is mini reads where I talk about books and things today I wanted to do a book chat it's been a while since I've done a book chat but this one I actually wanted to do a while ago but I just couldn't bring myself to do it I couldn't like oop, let me scoot up a little bit closer <laughs> I couldn't find the courage to do it because I felt like no matter how I worded it, it sounded like I was judging people for the activity of buying books. And it sounded like I think, like it's, it made me feel like I was sounding like I don't think you should be buying books. And that's not the point of this chat at all. In fact, I never would tell anybody what to do with their stuff. Life is too fucking short, you know? But I do believe that there is an impact to book buying that sometimes we forget about. And this got me thinking about that because recently somebody that was very dear to my family died. And going through their stuff is horrific. And I thought about my own mortality and about what I'm leaving behind on earth. Now at this point I don't have any children, but considering that I do want to have children in the future, all of these books back here, when I'm gone, where are they going? I know what you're thinking. I know you're thinking that my children will know that I loved these books and hopefully they might even love some of these books too, so they will keep them. But what if they don't? then you're thinking, of course they're going to donate them. But I have done some digging about donating recently. And just like donating your clothes actually is not a very effective way to get rid of your clothes because all of them, not all of them, but about 80% of them end up in landfills. The same thing happens to books. Now we have used bookstores and everything, just like we have used clothing shops or secondhand clothing shops. But the reality is, most of this is gonna be garbage and that got me thinking about what is the legacy that I'm leaving behind not just for my children for your children for other people's children and for the people that are gonna come into the world long after I'm gone I didn't used to buy a lot of books in fact the whole reason I bought my Kindle was so that I didn't have to buy a lot of books however before anybody goes into the comment section talking about this I do know that the cloud is not like a space, like an empty space. There are buildings, there are like enormous buildings that, ha that are being built constantly to house the amount of information that we upload to the internet and also that we download from the internet. Like for example, my Kindle books, technically they're, they're mine, but they're not actually mine. They're just kind of there in the cloud and that cloud has a physical space. That means land is being used, labor is being used, which is good to an extent because of course we think, okay, labor equals people having jobs and everything like that. But what happens when I'm gone? Of course, the Kindle is really easy. You just delete it and everything, but it's not just me using it. So I, I don't even know where I'm going with this because... In the end, does that mean we shouldn't be reading? We shouldn't be owning books at all? And also, if Kindles are indeed the 
better way to store books and to share books and everything does that mean places like libraries are going to disappear do i want that do you want that i don't know what i do know is this all of these books are gonna have to go somewhere where i'm not here and i know that hopefully that is many 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 years down the line and i just think about burdening other people with the things I like. For example, I know that if I raise my children with my love of reading and they they love reading too, they might keep them. But but what if my children don't have the same taste in reading if, uh, as I do? Will 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 I don't know, Station 11 still be something that they want to read or what about my two copies of the first book of Wandla? Will they want to keep that? What if they don't want to keep a physical reminder of of me? And that's okay too. I mean, I, I mean, I'm not saying that just be, that, that that they have to and and these books don't represent me. And for some people, keeping things from their loved ones that have passed is actually really really painful. So, I don't know where my books are going when I go. I'm not saying that I'm going to stop buying books because I can't spend my entire life thinking about the moment that I'm no longer here. That's not, I don't think that's good. In that case, why do I need chairs? Why do I need a bed? You know, where's that bed going? But I do think that the overconsumption of books is something that is really prevalent on booktube. And I think perhaps what we need is a little moderation. I have gone off the rails with the moderation. Um, I used to only have this bookshelf where both me and my husband's books were. And now we have this bookshelf, we have this small bookshelf, we have two floating shelves where my TBR is. And I don't know. I, I think just like with clothes, the best thing you can do after you read a book is donate it to a secondhand shop not just donate it and i know a lot of people are like well donate it to libraries but libraries end up having secondhand shops a lot secondhand sales a lot too because not everybody's interested in the books that they have and you know um is the library interested in another iliad i don't know maybe they already have 12 of them you know I don't know, but I do think that the best thing we can do when we decide that we no longer want our books or even if you want to unhaul them, instead of just donating them, which gives us this false sense of I'm doing the right thing, you know, try selling them. Try selling them. I mean, first of all, you when we assign money value to something, it means that the next person is likely going to actually be interested instead of just donating them because when we get things for free a lot of the times i'm not saying all of the times we don't really appreciate them and then we just give them on how many times have you inherited books and then you come back to them like five years later and been like oh i haven't read this book you know or use them as presents i i it really upsets me this idea that giving a like a book that you've already read or that has already been on yourself as a present is a like a horrible thing like you don't appreciate the person no i mean if you hated the book then maybe that means that you don't appreciate someone but what about if i read let's 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 pick one out what if i read nevermore and i loved it but I don't see myself rereading it or, you know, I'm like, I'm not interested. I liked it, but I'm not interested. Why can't, why would it be a bad idea for me to gift this to someone that I think would enjoy it? You know, maybe gifting the books that you want to unhaul instead of doing this thing that people do where they think that if they like set the books out there next to the, next to their door, people can take them. Um, I don't know. I there there is a very big social impact. There. There's a very big environmental impact there that we are not holding ourselves accountable for. So I guess what I'm saying is I'm trying to find ways to be more ecological about my book buying, more mindful about my book buying because all of this is labor and we don't even know how much of it is actually well-paid labor. It's like clothes we know clothes are not well-paid labor what about books do we know 
do we really know about the publishing industry? I don't. I'm not, I'm not saying that I don't. But do we? And what about, you know, the shipping and, and the handling and everything? I don't want bookstores to disappear. I'm not saying bookstores are bad. I'm not saying people that donate books are bad. What I'm saying is this has been on my mind. And it's something that we can maybe think about. And I don't know, come up with a solution together. For me, I have decided that if I am unhauling from now on, if the library won't take my books, because sometimes the library doesn't take books if they already have enough of them, I am going to start selling my books. Uh, I'm going to start giving them as Christmas presents. And if people really think that you have to have something new for it to for me to show you how valuable you are to me, then I I I have no words for that really. That's just another topic that I don't I don't even want to get into. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I kind of had to say on the subject. It's been gnawing at my noggin, as I say in these book chats. As far as my bookshelves go, I'm really happy with, with where my bookshelves are at, but I know that I want to add some more books. Now, sometimes I wonder if I want to add more books because I like the way they look, because I like the covers, which there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I bought another black shirt yesterday. It's, it's because I like how they, it looks on me. But I wonder what that's saying about me. Is that saying that I appreciate the book or that I appreciate the cover of the book? I don't know. I'm still going to buy some books. I'm still going to keep buying books. I'm still going to keep on hauling books. There's a lot of books here that I think I'm keeping because they I think they look good, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. So I leave this question up to you. Have you ever thought about where your books go when you are not no longer here? Have you ever thought about the environmental impact your book buying has? Have you ever thought about the fact that this is going to be clutter for the people you leave behind when you go? I know a lot of people don't think about death. I know that it sounds like I think about death a lot. I don't really. But I am actually pretty minimalistic in the rest of my life. And this has kind of started to stress me out. My book buying has kind of started to stress me out. Maybe it doesn't stress you out, that's fine. But again, my channel, my book chat. So yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. Uh, I hope that I got my point across. Again, I am not shaming anybody that has a library full of books and that feels happy with them because you know what? In the end, life is too short to be unhappy. And if buying books is what makes you happy, then, you know, as long as you're not hurting anyone in the process, I'm not here to tell you that that's wrong. I think buying books is probably one of the best things that you can do with your money. Uh, but, you know, things to consider. Things to consider. So, yeah. If you have anything to say, please leave it down below. I miss doing book chats. I'm glad that I'm back here doing them again. And my camera is flashing at me, so I'm just gonna remind you that I post videos every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And sometimes I get videos throughout the week and the weekend if I'm feeling a little bit extra. And without further ado, I bid you adieu. And I will see you in another galaxy far, far away. Bye, guys. And take care of yourself and take care of your books. <laughs> Bye.